specifically um, what I was looking for when I found Anton J is some guidance to scale the business and find more freedom from some, some people that actually knew what they were talking about and knew what they were doing. Um, and so when I was, was looking for help, um, I've been to a lot of different conferences and things and met a lot of coaches that said a lot of fancy things and really didn't have the reputation to back it up. And so I actually spent a good amount of time researching Anton J and actually getting to know the team a little bit before I jumped in. But really, I was looking for that clarity and experience to help us scale so we could have more freedom. Uh, one of the biggest things that was affected by not having direction and clarity and just grinding all the time, even though we had a lot of success in business and our business was growing, uh, my partner and I were just getting super burned out all the time. Um, we were losing motivation. It wasn't exciting anymore. Um, we didn't have any time to really do the fun things that we got into business for because we were so busy doing the work that made us money, which wasn't the work that we intended to do in the first place. Um, and so that was the biggest frustration, just the burnout and the psychological stress of just not really doing a job that we enjoyed anymore. I think one of the things that I really appreciated along with that, uh, the second thing was that there was a structure and a sequence to all the things that we needed to do so that they weren't all at once. We've been working on them for four months now and we've still got 10 months to go potentially, but we've made a lot of progress in that time. And I think having things in the proper order and having the clarity of knowing what to do and when to do it was really helpful. Um, a lot of the past experience I've had working with um, different coaches and mentors and things is they, they try to give you these actionable things you try to do all at once. And it's like, do this one thing, it'll change everything. Where really it's a sequence, it's a, it's a course of action, it's systems and things and they don't happen overnight. And I think I really appreciate that with Anton J, they're, it's real. They tell you, you know, this is hard. You're going to do hard work and it's going to pay off, which is, is life. That's how we built the business in the first place is lots of hard work. But now we're doing the right hard work. So one of the first actions I did is just sat down and designed an org chart um, of our organization and looked at all the different hats that everyone was wearing and sorted them out to figure out who should be doing what and who shouldn't be doing some of the things they are doing and then identifying the gaps we needed to fill. So we ended up hiring, um, we've hired like six people since we did our deep dive and they've all had tons of work to do right off the bat because we were putting the right people in the right places. And so first steps really were looking at the org chart, figuring out what we needed to fill, what we needed to stop doing and focusing on the things that mattered. And um, that was super powerful, had a lot of impact really quickly. So right now we're doing a lot of work. And so I haven't had a lot of spare time or free time really any more than I did before. Um, we hired Anton J, but what I do have now is the motivation to know that we're working on the right things, which is really helpful and helps with that motivation piece. We're not just grinding and grinding and grinding now. Now we're building something that has structure. Um, our business has walls and bumpers and we have a clear defined culture that we didn't have before. And we have, um, we have SOPs for different things now. We have guides. We have this culture where when we hire someone, we can tell them in five minutes exactly who we are, what we're doing, what we want to do, and they can decide if they fit and we can decide if, if they fit with us really quickly. And that's, that's one of the things that was pretty much immediate. Well, we hired Anton J and we're doing just over a little, little over a million dollars a year in revenue. And uh, we predicted this was going to be a big year uh, anyway, and we were expected to do about 2 million, but after hiring Anton J, um, our goal is to do 3 million um, within 12 months of hiring, which is aggressive, but they seem to be really optimistic about it. And I think um, with the changes we're seeing, that's entirely possible. And 
I think uh, three to five years, we could be somewhere around $10 million a year in revenue is, is really realistic at this point. Um, I almost didn't hire Anton J because of it's 2020 and with COVID and everything, there was just so much unknown going on and it seemed like a really bad time to try to scale a business. Um, but the reality is, is businesses are, are made or broken during times like this, challenging times. And, and Jason and Joe and Carlos were very um, ambitious about this year. They were very enthusiastic that the business owners who really took the time to knuckle down and get things done would do it. And they relayed that to me. And so we hired them and really took the risk, especially in a year like this, to to stop and work on the business and grow. And the timing's been great. Um, we've really seen a lot of um, increase in our revenue and, and things that would have happened anyway this year, but we're better positioned to take them on. Um, we're not turning away business that we would have turned away because we've got the team and the structure and we're a lot more confident now in what we're doing. I've done a lot of, a lot of coaching before um, at conferences and different things, never really hired anyone to, to come in and take an active role, but some passive coaching and really it's ended up, I've gone down all sorts of different rabbit holes and gotten distracted and it's taken up lots of time that really wasn't productive. And so I think even though I did a lot of due diligence on Anton J and I, I looked into their system and talked to former clients and um, did all that due diligence, there's still that, you know, little bit of back of my mind doubt that maybe this is going to be a waste of time. Maybe it's not going to pay off. And, Fortunately, I, I did it anyway, and it has paid off. We really dug into what business are we in exactly. And it ended up being quite a bit different than what we thought we were in. We're still doing the same services and, and providing the same services to our clients, but the motivations for them to hire us are different than what we thought they were. And that was a big light bulb moment. Um, if I had to pick a second one, I would say going back to the um, the org chart and the roles and the idea of bringing people in now to eventually replace me as an owner is something I can start on right away. And the timeline um, to step back and really chair the company and take less of an active role is something that I thought would have been years is could be less than less than a year really at the rate we're going now because we're putting the right people in place. We're training them. They're getting to know everything. We're taking everything out of my brain and putting it down on paper and doing that with everyone else in the organization. And um, I think the looking at the power of taking some of these concepts and applying them and seeing how that looks on a timeline is really interesting. The people who would best benefit from, from Anton J would be people who are in established businesses that have had some success, they know what to do um, to make their clients happy and they know how to make money. They just don't know how to scale it. They don't know how to eventually step away. Um, and they're kind of stuck. I think people like myself who found success, grew a great business and then got stuck in it. I think those are ideal clients, but I do see some value as well in someone who's looking to start a business. There's lots of tips and tricks and things I've picked up along the way that it's likely all eventually used to start other businesses. Um, and, and I've already got all that. So it's been really useful on both fronts, but I think particularly for established businesses, there's a lot of value there. I would say to anyone who's hesitating to um, start with Anton J or work with Anton J, um, they're the real deal. They're, they're not just in it to take your money, they're in it to help you win.